Hello everyone, back on Oberon again. Today we're going to move a step further and I'm going to show you the Oberon um, desktop and gadget. Okay. Um, what you've seen up to now from Oberon is the more DOS-like surface to operate Oberon. That means you you're entering commands, you're activating commands, and you're getting text back to show you what you what you want to know. Um, and now we go a step further um, to the to the second um, user interface that Oberon provides, and this is the gadget system. This is more like Windows, while the previous one was more like DOS. So if you want to start the gadget system, this is um, also called the desktop system of Oberon, you have to click in the system tool which is automatically opened when you start the system. You go down to this line desktops.opendoc uh, no sorry you go to desktop desktops open Oberon desk this line here. Middle click on it with your mouse and now the desktop surface opens. The desktop is, as I told you, more window-like. You see here windows and over on there are called frames. You have a background here and you can see that you have buttons you can click on. Um, and you have some kind of menu here on the left side. And um, I'm going to show you how to, to work this. this is, uh, not very difficult, just a little bit um, uh, uncomfortable for the moment because you really don't know all the nuts and bolts of this operating system, but it's quite cool. Okay, here on the left side you have some menu buttons for the desktop. The desktop is the, the whole area here. And what you can see here when you look uh, at the top left corner, you have something like uh, four squares um, oriented in, 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 a, in a bigger square and this resembles the sign of a, a multi-view desktop. Maybe um, you know this from Linux. I think Linux implemented this uh, multi-desktop interface a uh, long time ago. In Windows it's not uh, very common. I think in Windows 7 and Windows 10 it's now present. And Oberon, it was already present back in the 80s. So when you click here on those white fields with your left mouse button, you can see you have four different desktops, while only one of it now is filled with the menus and with an application that starts automatically, and this is the gadgets panel. The gadgets panel is a quite cool tool you have to use when you want to build your own uh, user interface for gadgets you write on your own. These are applications in Oberon with a graphical interface. This will be covered in, um, in a future video, but not now, because first you have to get comfortable with the gadget system and the Oberon desktop itself. Okay, so we close this for now. When you go here to this button, which is marked with a lot of books, and you click with your left mouse button on it, you can see some kind of pop-up menu. You have different entries for things you can invoke. The gadgets panel we already had. There's a libraries panel. We will skip this for now. The Columbus and Watson we will also skip for now. These are some kind of uh, object inspectors for the program development of gadgets. Um, we have a text docs panel. We can open this and this is um, some kind of very simple text editor. And while we open it I can show you how to um, how to deal with those windows. When you put your mouse on the outer rim on in the top or on the left side, no, it's not with the top side, you have to catch it very accurately and you click with your middle uh, with your left mouse button you can see the window select and you can move it around smoothly. When you release the mouse button, the window is dropped <coughs> where the last position was. When you put your mouse on the right side and you do the same again with the left mouse button, 
and you can see you can also move it okay I hoped I could recite the window but it seems that is a, that this for this application is not possible I will show you this in another window okay you can now for example click new text and you have a new text and you can move it down okay let's try it again what I want to show you here let's click the right rim um, oh, no you only can drag it okay so resizing here is not possible I don't know don't know why it doesn't matter you can enter some text here placing the carrot in the text area you can enter some text here we we'll move it a little down <coughs> And you can, for example, mark the text by using uh, the right mouse button, like this. And then you can, for example, choose another font size by clicking the middle mouse button. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can turn it to italic or medium or bold, as you want. You can change another Form family, for example, Greek. You have um, more Greek like um, uh, characters. Math characters. Actually, this doesn't work now. I don't know why. Normally, you should see now math characters. It doesn't work now. I don't know why. Okay. But principally, you can change the font here. Um, okay, and you can also apply another color if you want. Use the middle mouse button and, for example, choose the color like this. And you can see you have a magenta look now. Okay. Uh, that's all for the moment uh, regarding the text docs panel we close this you also have um, documents panel and this is uh, very important this is the basic search tool when you're looking for any kind of information you see that um, the information or, or the files here are, um, are structured with, uh, with extensions like you know it from DOS or from Windows for example so when you middle click, for example, on, on dev, you see all the dev files. There are no dev files here, actually. You can click on graph files, no graph files. Okay, lib functions, we have lib functions here. We have pictures here. When you middle click the pictures, you see preview. These are cards. These are coins. These is a fractal. Okay. It's funny stuff. And what is more interesting is the other text files. You can see a lot of text files here containing a lot of information. For example, the introductory text for Oberon, how to deal with the basic functions, or um, the description of the edit keys, the description of drivers, you see all those uh, screen drivers here, those video drivers. So when you're looking for information, text files are a good start. Then you have a very uh, another very important extension here. These are the tools. Tools are collections of Oberon commands um, embedded in, in a text document. When we open one of these documents, for example, we open the... Uh, let's see the compiler tool. You can see this is a text file containing different commands to use a compiler. You can start the compiler, you ha have um, several compiler extensions like creating your symbol file, stuff like that. And you know by middle clicking on these commands you can activate them. You also have the browser show devs here, here in this uh, lower section. This is a very important tool when you want to know the um, the interface structure of a module, namely what uh, variables and functions are exported that you can use for your uh, for your applications. Okay, um, then we have a 
very interesting tool here. It's called Desktops Tool. Desktops Tool contains some um, uh, commands that we can use with the desktop itself. Let's see if we can move the window to the side. Okay. Um, what's for example interesting here is the desktop change backdrop. This is um, essentially um, the same what you do when you're choosing another wallpaper in Windows. So you can change the background. For example here uh, we have a standard setting for backdrop picture. When we activate this you can see we have a backdrop picture something like a, between a wave and a mountain. I don't know exactly what it is. <clears throat> I personally um, prefer this one here. This is a bows picture for the backdrop. When I activate it, you see this. I like the color and I like really um, all those little tiny little hairs here <laughs> or bows. <clears throat> okay. Um, then we have a um, command for opening documents. Um, the difference between the normal Oberon interface I showed you in the previous videos where you open documents for example with edit.open is somewhat different here because this is a desktop and it has an, an own mechanism for opening and showing documents. So when you want to open document choose desktops open doc. Mark the document or put it directly here after the, the command and open it. This um, works for everything for modules, for text files, for, for anything you want always use desktops open. Okay, um, let's close this for now. Um, let's come back to those four different um, working areas of the desktop. Entirely, entirely this is one big desktop which is congruent and coherent and uh, you can choose the view, the actual view, view you want to have on this desktop. So that means uh, when you, for example, opening another document, let's say you want to open a text file. Um, oh no, wait. We choose one of my favorites, a chapter from the Oberon Companion. Let's say chapter three of the Oberon Companion. Okay, here it is. And now we can click it on the window and we can shift it downwards. Let's say up to here. If we now click here on the viewer for the lower left area you can see the document is now here because we shifted it in this, this area. So you can place it here where you want. Let's say there's a document here. Then we go back to our first view and then say okay uh, let's open the compiler tool because we want to do some programming stuff. Now the compiler tool is open. And let's say we want to put this um, on the right side. So we shift it over the rim to the right side and we take this view, the upper right one, and we drag the document to the place we want it to be, like this. Now we go back to our first view. And let's say we additionally want to open the gadgets panel like this. Okay, and we want to put this here. Okay, now the cool thing is that you can store this configuration. When you click on store, then this configuration with all those open documents and their positions is, are stored. And the name here is um, Oberon Desk. This is the standard desk that Oberon is opening. You also can apply um, different desks when you change the name here. You just can click here in this area 
with your left mouse button and you could change its name. I won't do this for now because I will keep it this, uh, the way it is. Um, that means that you also can uh, store and apply different desktop configuration. That thing when if you are not working alone on your overall workstation, you have several persons working on this uh, workstation, then everyone can configure and personalize this de his desktop as he wants. Now, after we start the desktop, we close it and we are going back to the normal overall DOS-like interface. And we reopen by clicking desktops open over on desk. And you see, we have all the documents again and all those viewers as we arranged them the last time. I think this is a really cool feature. So I would like to encourage you to click on this button here and go through every panel and um, find out what you can do with it. Okay? So thank you. Bye for now.